everybody, Laura here. Thanks so much for joining me. It's always a great honor and pleasure to be on the Simon Says Stamp blog. Um, today I'm using um, some of the brand new stamps that came out in the This Is The Life release. Awesome, awesome, awesome release. So many fun stamp sets and dies and stencils. But I wanted to use, I couldn't wait to try to use that station wagon. Okay, did you guys see that station wagon image? It's so cute. Every time I see it, I think of National Lampoon's Vacation. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> and um, so I want to use it, but you know, I love the image, but I was trying to think, how am I going to use this in a practical way? Like what type of card would I use a station wagon for? And so, you know, I, most of the time when I send out cards, usually it's for birthdays or thank yous or like a celebratory you know, situations. So of course, you know, I'm going to try and throw a balloon in there if I can. So I took that birthday farm animals and I'm going to use that balloon. I did this, uh, for the release. I, um, use the balloon separately from that cute little pig image. What I'm doing now is I'm just stamping three balloons off on some post-it, um, on a post-it note and it's totally sloppy and messy. It doesn't matter at all because I'm just cutting these out. They're going to be masks. You know, I want to keep this card a one layer wonder. I, I'm all about one layer wonders, especially when you're going to mail them. But, you know, even besides the mailing part, I just love a one layer wonder. Okay. So, and when you're stamping the balloons, um, it's, if you want to make them look like they're, you know, all layered up in a big bouquet, you definitely got to use some masking. So I put some post-it tape on there and I'm stamping it. That way I definitely don't ink up my pig and the string and all that. It keeps the, um, keeps it real clean for me. But you know what? Uh, you wouldn't have to use that post. If you just were really careful and got down low, uh, you can you can ink up just the balloon, like selective inking. You don't have to mask it all off and take all that time. Um, so whatever. But if you want to be really, really careful not to ink up anything else on the stamp set but the balloon, you can throw some post-it tape or, you know, whatever, mask it off like I'm doing here just to be really careful. And um, so now I'm using my mask. And I'm, what I'm doing is I want... Um, these balloons to be like trailing behind the station wagon. Have you ever seen when somebody gets married? Um, sometimes they'll tie balloons to the back of cars, streamers, or they'll tie cans like drinking cans or beer cans or soda cans, whatever they do. And it makes all this noise and it's really fun. So I thought that'd be kind of cool to go behind the station wagon. And um, this could be a really, really cute uh, wedding card or any type of celebration. I'm I'm just gonna put celebrate on there so it could go for a lot of different occasions. And um, moving these masks around so that I can um, get my bouquet just the way I want it to be. This is really simple. And uh, you know me, I love balloons. So I'm gonna have to Copic color in all of this stuff. By the way, I forgot to mention that uh, I am using the Nina Solar White, the 110. So this is a nice thick card. I love this cardstock, especially when you're doing one layer. Now I've got this Copic multi-liner. It's in the 0.3 thickness. I just got this. So now I feel like I'm really stepping it up a notch from my, my Sharpie pen. It's basically the same thing, but, um, I, you know what I want to get? I want to, I think it comes even in a thinner one and I want to get that one too, but this is really, really perfect for um, just freehand drawing these balloon strings and stuff like that, that I do all the time. You never realize how much you need just a really, really fine black tip pen for your paper crafting. Okay, so now this Celebrate sentiment comes from the More Sketchy Banners greetings. It's also a new stamp set, but it uh, the stamp actually says Let's Celebrate, but I cut it with my scissors and I only um, stamp the Celebrate part, which now you wouldn't have to cut it. Again, you could do that selective inking or mask it off or whatever, but I had already cut it. Um, I cut my stuff all the time because I, uh, I like to arrange it the way I want to fit my card and whatnot. Okay, so now I'm coloring in the station wagon with some Copic markers. I put the caps up there in the top because, you know, I see the I see the pros do that when they do their videos. They, they turn the caps up to show you the colors. And, you know, I mean, I'm trying to be like the pros. And, you know, honestly, don't tell anybody, but I have no idea what I'm doing with Copic. But I watch, I watch the masters. I watch what they do, and I'm trying to learn. I'm really, really trying to improve. Okay, so now I'm just taking a really, really light blue. I think it's called Pale Shadow or something like that. And um, just drawing a little bit of shading on the windows, make it look like glass. And then I'm taking some light grays to uh, just shade in the paneling on that. Have you seen some people that do this station wagon? I don't know if they're using wood veneer paper or what, but they put 
the wood on that, it looks like wood on the station wagon. So cool. I love how that looks. Okay, now I'm coloring in my balloons. Now for this one, I'm using the three different shades and I'm just going to town with the balloons. I love a balloon. It's so festive. Okay, look at how cool that is. Is that not fun? Wouldn't this be a really, really happy and fun non-traditional wedding card? I think it'd be cool, but I mean, it'd be even cool for like a masculine birthday. You know, it's kind of a guy, a guy would like the station wagon. And I'm just rambling and babbling my head off. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.